Hi everyone, this is D with D's Divine Tarot 411, and today we're going to go ahead with your Celtic cross reading for the sign of Leo. So all you Leos out there, I should let y'all know I did get hired on at a like a psychic service, like a medium service, and so it's called Medium Chat, and you know I offer uh, readings on the channel. I charge $55. Mines are a little bit more in depth because I can give you a phone call or a, a video chat reading, or I can make you a video through YouTube, a private video with a private link, and only you can see the video with whoever you want to share it to. Whoever you share the link with can see it as well, and you can watch it as many times as you need to. Uh, or you could just come over to Medium Chat, which is also an awesome way to get a private reading from me. But it's all through just typing. And, you know, I'm loving it over there. I love the team. It's based in the UK. So I'm international here on the channel and in my job. I'm just so ecstatic about all of that. But we're going to jump into your reading. I'll start speaking to spirit, giving you clarity, insight, and guidance. Spirit, please bless this reading for all Leos. Let your will be done for all Leos in this reading. Well, those want to come out, so we're going to keep them. And what you pull? You pull the King of Swords and the King of Wands. So this is the King of Truth and the King of Magic. So with both of these, you just can't lose. And if this is you, Leo, which it looks like it is, this is a fire sign, and this is someone in their truth, you are powerful right now. So you're clear, you're sharp, you're precise, and you're also very like dynamic. You're the life of the party probably be the first one on the dance floor very charismatic charismatic and uh, just a head turner so all in all <laughs> these cards want to come out so we're going to keep them for you all right and i will continue shuffling i don't think i was done shuffling thank you spirit that was plus so we're going to take that i'll cut the cards thank you spirit and i'll start to deal Right. Uh oh, Leos. Looks like y'all having trouble sleeping. Okay, so I'm gonna keep that. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So let's jump into your reading. Bottom of the deck, Leos. You got the nine of swords. So you might be having trouble sleeping right now. You can have a lot on your mind. There's a lot going on in the world. I know I had a Leo friend who lost her man recently, and I know she's going through this. So just be mindful with everything you're doing, everything you're going through. We always get through this. You might not you know, feel like it right now because it's a difficult time, but just know you will get through this. Take your time. Try to get some exercise during the day so you can be blessed. You can get through this easier and you can relax at night and you can fall asleep easier by getting exercise in okay all right we're gonna go to the next part of your reading i mean the next cards and right here we got a queen so wow holy smoke so you got a queen of magic to match this king of magic and this could either be you in your wholeness feeling like the divine masculine and the divine feminine feeling whole in yourself, or this could be a match made in heaven where God is bringing you with someone. If you're not already with them, you could already be with them and you're both showing up in the reading, or this could be a new somebody for you. So all in all, you can't lose with these two. They're both the life of the party. They're the best <laughs> ones to be around as far as hanging out and having a good time you just can't lose with them too and not only is this king the king of magic he's also the king of truth so he's going to always be truthful with his queen so all in all this is a blessed blessed reading so far with the kings and queens it, it is a little you know trouble sleeping though so just keep in mind you know what you can do with this next card we got eight of swords so not only did you get the 
nine of swords, you got the eight of swords. So this is right, the eight right into the nine. So just be mindful, you're not really stuck. It just looks that way right now, but you will get through this. You will be able to move on. You will be able to free yourself. Sometimes we go, we get into these like ruts and we think, I don't know what to do. I don't know what move to make. It might not be time to make a move. You might have to wait on divine timing, divine discernment or intuition. And so just take your time and just know you will become clear when the time is right. All right, next card. Cap no, this is we just didn't we just do Capricorn? I did Capricorn. Now this is Leo. And so <laughs> sorry y'all. Uh, this is the queen of care, the queen of love. So, wow, you got the kings and you got the queens. Two kings, two queens. And so how beautiful is this love relationship? Queen of love, the king of truth, the queen and king of magic, king of wine. So y'all can't lose with this beautiful relationship. This could either be friends or this could be a relationship. It looks like it's a relationship because... This is the perfect match. If they go hand in hand, they're each other's counterpart. So these are, I think, other attributes of the two. And she is a true, true lover. She gives everything she gets, but she doesn't give back to herself. But the king here is in his truth, and he will make sure that she does and that she does feel the way she deserves to be treated. A lot of times he's more heady, but he's also very thoughtful. And he will think of his queen when it comes down to it. Okay, next card. Hangman. So you're on a spiritual timeout right now. And you got to take it, Leo. This is all about reconnecting to spirit, reconnecting to higher self, and to God, the creator. And just re being reminded that, you know, sometimes we need these timeouts because we go, 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 do, 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 give, give, give. And now we got to give back to ourselves by remembering we're spiritual and getting back into our spiritual nature and our spiritual connection. So take this time out. This is major arcana and you need this time for self. Okay, next card, Leo's six of swords. So it looks like you're gonna be leaving a certain situation. It could be home, it could be a thought process, a life path that you thought you were gonna stay on. Sometimes life changes and we have to get out of Dodge or things happen in life to where we gotta move for whatever reason. And that's what it looks like here. You're about to get out of Dodge and move to somewhere else or at least you're planning to. Wow, what did I say about that king and those queens? So uh, this is definitely a love relationship and it's destined. It's destined to be, this is like a twin flame or a soulmate. This is someone you're meant to be with. And you see how they're offering this cup of love to one another. It's like, you're my one and I want to give this cup to you and vice versa. So this is a very beautiful reading about love and coming together with someone you're meant to be with. How wonderful. Hold on, y'all. All right. Next card is the Ace of Wands. So not only do you have the King and Queen of Wands of magic, you also have the Hand of God of magic. And this is what it's looking like. God is bringing you guys together so you can have the life you deserve. And it's beautiful. It's a beautiful union. And it's a lot of magic. You both are magical. So spiritual superstars, here you are. And you have everything you need to bring everything it's like you manifested one another but a lot of times we have free will and we can meet one another and decide to be together but a lot of times spirit is helping in the background and they make it so we run into each other or we meet or we see each other and then that attraction is there but all in all be careful with this car because you could get pregnant <laughs> and if you don't want kids just be you know mindful but magic is all around you, and it's like a serendipity kind of love. You just can't lose with that. Okay? Next card, we got Leo. Wow. The Three of Swords. So you're going to be healing from this. This is something you're probably still going through, but you got to keep in mind there's no blood on the sword. So this is something that happened in the past. It could be death. It could be betrayal. Some kind of hurt has you in this energy, but... 
that's why God is doing what they're doing. Spirit's doing what they're doing to help you know that that's not it. It's not over for you. You will go beyond this. You will be able to go to the next stage in your life. And it looks like spirit wants to give you a new someone. So if you lost someone, I know it's painful. I lost my wife last year and I'm healing from that now. But just know that you're going to the next stage and you're going to new love. Next card we got Ace of, so, uh, of Pentacles. So not only do you have love, you have abundance. So <laughs> you just can't beat the two when you have true love and you have abundance in your life and you live in the life you're supposed to be living and you're giving each other what you're supposed to be giving each other. And it's just win-win all the way through. I'm so happy for you. Go right ahead, Leos. This is like a blessing and inheritance by the hand of God. And it looks like bringing you get you guys together is that richness, is that like inheritance of bringing you guys together so you have the life that you are meant to have with one another. Go right ahead, y'all. Next card is the chariot. So with this right here, this is fast moving energy. We got some ducks over here, y'all. This is fast moving energy. This is God's spiritual Uber nascar limo coming to pick you up and it's super fast energy it's like breakneck speed you'll look back and be like man we're in a whole different time in a whole different place when my life was completely different not too long ago that's how spirit does like you just want to remain balanced with these two because this is divine masculine divine feminine like the yin yang and you just want to be able to marry them so the ride is much smoother you're going to go regardless. <laughs> so you might as well be balanced while you're going. But you're headed for a blessed, beautiful time. Wow. So there's a shyster in the mix. Maybe this is something of the past or maybe you're sneaking off to go be with this person or, you know, maybe someone is doing something they have no business doing. All in all, you know. This one doesn't have too much power with all the blessings that you have coming in. Looks like this one will be a thing in the past, but just be mindful. You have this kind of energy or someone around you that's not trustworthy, someone you can't trust. Or it could be you just sneaking off to be with someone or do something that you don't want someone to know. Wow, you got both. <laughs> fast moving energy cards so this is the eight of wands and spirit is with you with the magic that you've created and it looks like they're gonna be with you in the minor arcana the minor things in your life with the magic that you're creating and also you know with the major things in your life so let's just do a quick recap because you got some powerful powerful love cards and so it's a shyster in the mix so be careful with that be mindful and then, or it could just be you sneaking off. If that's you sneaking off, that's not a bad thing. Maybe you just don't want someone to know what you're doing. And then you got guys, fast moving, spiritual Uber, limo, NASCAR limo coming to get you. You got an inheritance after a time of feeling down and blue and sad. You know, we all go through it. We all lose in life to win again. Excuse me. And that's what it looks like is happening. You're going to start something new and fresh with a new somebody and it's blessed by the hand of god god is making this happen looks like you're going to be leaving to go where you're going on a new journey and you know you're on the spiritual timeout, so you got to take it that also shows you're not clear right now and you're not sleeping and it's a very difficult time this is why you want to go into this right now to get out of this that's the only way to get out of this being stuck and not being able to sleep you know get some exercise move about get yourself tired at night but you got to reconnect with spirit because god has something that's coming in for you and really fast in the minor arcana which is the minor things in life and in the major arcana which is the major things in life so get ready get ready leo and this is you as the queen of love this is your king as the king of truth and then this is the match made in heaven. You can't lose. So these are two fire signs, very passionate, and they love, love deeply. 
And like I said, they're the life of the party. You would have a ball with them at any party, at any get together, any gathering. So I'm so happy for you in this new love relationship. And let's see, where did that one go? That's basically it, but I just want to get this card out because I love it. It's one of my favorite love cards. And this is where you're going. And you got the ace of coins. So not only are you rich or, you know, well off, you also are going to be with the one you're meant to be with. I'm so happy for you, Leos. I hope this helps. And I hope you can hear me. Sometimes I, I'm not talking loud enough because it's just me out here. But all in all, I hope that you can see this is a blessed time for you and a blessed reading for you. Okay, Leos, I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for your time and attention. Blessings, blissfulness, peace, and love. Bye, Leos.